That's a slider right there. And it's a pretty damn good one. Today we're talking about the Zeepin Micro 2 Plus slider. It comes in at $259 for the slider itself, which means that you can use manual slides, twice the length of the slider. Now, it's very, very smooth, and horizontally it takes eight kilo. Vertically, it will take four and a half kilo, which is still a massive amount, a massive amount. It's a huge payload. If you hold it vertically, it will basically slide down itself, which is quite nice. Same thing on the incline. It will slide down at a nice, nice pace. It's, 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 it's very, very smooth. I haven't done a slider film for a while because there really hasn't been anything out there that's caught my eye. But this from Zeepin is fantastic. They did send it to me. They haven't paid me. They have no idea what I'm going to say. Zeepin, you have no idea. But I'm very happy with it, especially in the most difficult test, which is macro. If a slider can handle, handle, hand, handle, if a slider can handle a macro shot and it can be smooth as butter, that's basically the test I'm looking for. And this does that very, 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 very well. It does macro very nicely. Cool thing about it is that it has four legs that you can extend or you can basically lock in. And it's, it's small because if I take off the um, Lanzi ball head, which I use on top of it, it's basically this. This is what you pack in your bag. And it also has a lock, so it won't move. And if you unlock it, it will move. So that's cool that it does have a lock. Now, another funky thing is these ball heads. Did I say ball heads? Leg balls. The balls you have on your legs, right here. They screw in and screw out, which means, which is very, very important. Don't think it's not, it's very important. It will mean that you can keep your Manfrotto RC2 plate on there. And when you put it down, do you hear that? It won't touch, so it won't wobble around like some other sliders I know. That's really fantastic, and I do enjoy keeping it on there, so I can just basically just on the slider, on the tripod, on the table, on the ground. You know, it's, it's very fast. I don't have to take off the RC2, put it back on. It's a small detail, but it does mean a lot to me. It's got a little bit of silicone in here, which I've already damaged with a stupid newer Z Flex tilt head. Don't use it. If you're gonna buy one and you need, 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 ugh, you need a tilt head, what is going on with my tongue today? Get the Elder Chrome one. The Elder Chrome one is fantastic. It works very well and it'll get you all the angles you want. If you don't want to buy one that expensive, you're out of luck because the newer one is rubbish. Hopefully, Zeepin will make their own. They are coming out with a pan tilt head, so I'm guessing that will allow you to do various configurations of how you're doing your slider, especially with the vertical shots. If you do want to motorize this awesome piece of kit, you can very quickly buy yourself one of these as a kit. So this is $259 if you buy it with a motor, which is a brand new motor, by the way. It doesn't work on the old sliders. This is a new and upgraded version of the Micro 2. It will cost you $445 with this whole kit. And it's really, really quickly and easy, accessible. The only thing you have to do is take off the RC2 plate and the attachment. It's got a free eights underneath and it also has got free quarter twenties. And the easy thing to do here is you literally have this little thumb screw at the bottom. I don't know if you guys can see that right there. There you go. And you basically just do that. Take this off and it's magnetic underneath. So this, 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 this little belt is magnetic right here. That's great. You get your nice little engine, your motor, and you kind of fill it out and you put it in there. Slide it on the front. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna get this and we are gonna slide it back all the way until you reach that hole again. And then with your thumb, slide it in. And that is that. You have turned it into a motorized slider. It does come with two little thumb screws that have got holes on the side. So you can basically um, make sure that the motor is attached and it's not gonna go anywhere when you're sliding. So it's, you know, it's nicely attached there. On the side, you have a power button and the power button is because you have a Sony MPS battery, which you click in, which also has a lock, by the way, that's really great. And when you turn this guy on, hold and turn on, it will have a blue LED, 
which turns green when it's ready. Now it will turn red when the battery is low. You also have three little LEDs here. If you press it, it will turn this into a very fast slider. 39 decibels, by the way. So if you can... That's quiet, that's very quiet. Pressing the button twice will get you from one side to the other. If you press and hold it, it will just slide. Now, if we press this once again, we'll go into the slowest mode, I think, yep. And now it's moving very, very slowly. Great thing with the fact that the slider moves by itself twice across itself is that you'll never have the slider in frame. So if you have, I only have one camera because I broke my Sony a7 III. If you have your lens here, it's gonna be moving, so with the slider, but if the slider were this long, what would happen? You'd see your slider in the shot, which would suck. So the fact that this moves with itself is great. And not only does it do that, but it does it on your desk, double. Because there are other sliders don't double up when they're on the desk. It does it vertically. It will do it on inclines. It will do it on your tripod. It will do it everywhere. So that's a great thing with the slider. The legs work very well. So when the slider is all the way back, it doesn't become heavy. If you put them this way, it's nice and stable. That is a great thing about it. The battery, the small MPFs here, these ones, they will last, this is the 570 by the way, they'll last about three to four hours, which is great. If you buy the big ones, the 970, they will be going for about half a day, half a day, half a day, 12 hours, maybe a little bit more. So that's really great. You do have extra belts in the, the um, boxes if you need them. It comes with a nice bag that you can stick it in to keep it safe. It's a, it's a soft bag, it's a soft bag so you can't throw it around. And if you do need a cable, I'm not sure if you can pick one up from Zeepin, but I have one from Rhino, I've got one from Eldercrone, and they work just fine for my Sony a7 series cameras. It's a great, great slider, very smooth. Like I said, the macro test very, did very well with full on Cage, Sony a7R 3 and the Lauer Macro 100 millimeter. So it, 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 check, check those out right now. You can see just how smooth this slider is. I always do the macro test on a slider and rarely do I get such good results. The only thing that's come close to the smoothness of this slider is the slipod, believe it or not. The slipod is very smooth, but it's just not as smooth as the Zeepen. I've done a lot of macro in my life, and I've been frustrated that a slider just, it looks like it's moving in steps, it's jaggedy, it jerks, but this this is perfectly smooth. It's ideal for macro shots. Absolutely ideal. Now apparently the slider has something called a buffer design, which means that when it starts, it will start off slow and move faster. It not having a ramp is no doubt the biggest downfall of this slider because I'm gonna cut off the beginning and then cut off the end and I'm just going to use the middle of the slide. I won't use that because that's when the camera goes and slides along. I wish they put in a ramp. Guys, if you're listening to me, please put in a ramp option. You've said it gets in the way of the new tilt head. I don't believe that. I think if somebody's buying this by themselves, with no tilt head, pan head, they should be able to ramp. I think that's very important because then you can use the whole shot, which I like doing very often. I like starting off very slow, going in faster and ending off slow. Yeah. And um, a ramp is, is, is something that we as cinematographers really do need in, in, in the actual app. So if you can build that in, it'll be fantastic. Separately and with the pan and tilt head, that will do a lot of good for this slider because it already is a fantastic system. And it would be awesome if you guys could make one even longer so that we can get those even longer slides. I mean, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I do rarely use such a long slider. Even when the slider is this long, I'll probably only use half of it because I will be using something that is basically right in, the, in front of the frame to show that the slider is moving. If you have nothing in front of your frame, 
you're not gonna see the slider moving no matter how long it is. So it's worth having things in front of your frame to show actual movement of your slider. And even with such a small half, half a slide, you can really show movement and that, that's, that's important, but it would be cool to have a longer model for people to be able to choose, especially with a pan and tilt, so you can really do some really, you know, cool movements with it. The fact that it can carry four and a half kilos still baffles me because I have a few sliders that just can't do that. And you know, wow, well done guys, especially with it being so smooth. Now the app, The app is okay. It connects straight away. You basically have everything done. You press done and you can slide it left and right. It's, um, it's a very good app. You can change the top speed. You can do a point A, point B, and then you can basically loop between them, I believe. There you go. So that's looping, so it's good for interviews. You can basically put the slider on a tripod or on a table and it can just loop left and right and you can do it a lot slower than it is doing now. Now, you do have time-lapse options. You do have intelligent time-lapse. So if you're not very good at time-lapse, you can basically select stars or cityscape or any of that stuff and it will do it for you. It has stop motion, so you can do stop motion shots, which are, are, are great. You can do param, pa, panorama mode, what did I say? <laughs> Matrix mode, and you can do camera mode, but you are going to need the time-lapse trigger, and you're gonna need, need the um, heads for that. All in all, it's pretty cool. You've got six points you can choose, so you can do A, B, C, D, E, and F. And, you know, it's, 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 it's got a lot of potential, but I think the app still needs a little bit of work Cool thing on the Eldercrone app, I'm sorry I'm going back to Eldercrone a lot, but I do own all of their stuff, basically all of their sliders. You can take a photo of your A and your B shots so you know exactly where you're going from what to what, and obviously it has ramp. So those two things that this slider is uh, missing out on, but I'm sure they're very simple to add inside the actual app. Now at 39 decibels, once again, for interview shots, it's um, absolutely fine and it won't be too loud, especially if you're going at a nice smooth movement left to right. If you do have any questions about this fantastic, fantastic slider from Zeepin, do drop them in the comments below. And if you did like my film and you purchased it or want to purchase it from the affiliate link below, make sure to give me a thumbs up, it's actually down there. And if you haven't subscribed, the subscribe button is not meant to be red, it's meant to be like a grayed out color. It should always be grayed out by the way, because I think 85% of the people that watch this channel aren't actually subscribed, guys. Really? <laughs> um, stay tuned for much more. Much more. Much more stuff coming. Tons of stuff. I mean, like, what we're talking about. Whew. I'm a big fan of time lapses. And you can see the movement right here. This is clean movement from the slider. I put it on a table outside a cafe. Brilliant.